today is going to be like a whole different aspect of what i never done before on my channel they're trying to get the hang of youtube today is god related you guys don't know i am a christian digging more into the bible every single day it started yesterday i've been like on a surface in the bible but i've been really like digging deeper writing my thoughts and stuff down y'all will be seeing more of that also more of other content too the content i've been doing but i feel like my content been so dry lately it's not giving the attention that i needed to give and i haven't been given the attention that i wanted to give so today is going to be about my journey to me talking about the bible so yesterday me and my mom sat down we spoke together we started talking because i've been really feeling so shoulders been hurting i just need to let go of a lot of stuff and it's not only that i had to let go it's that loving is okay but i've been loving i've been loving too hard i see myself out so much for me to be not good like okay with that you have to understand that stressing is not okay you have to really be a type of person who can deal with that but i feel like nobody should deal with that and not go through it alone i've been reading the bible lately my mom told me to read esther and i have not read it yet but i've been journaling about what i've been reading i've been Trying to every single day write down a checklist of what I need to do in the morning. Today I put wake up, start journaling, just like every single day. As soon as I get up, like stay off my phone, don't look at social media, anything like that. Wake up is the first thing in journal because every time I get up, I either get on my laptop or on my phone, but it starts in here. So you always have to journal. And then it says pick out an outfit. I would journal for like 30 minutes, read into the, get into the Bible, and then pick out my outfit, figure out what I'm wearing, then brush my teeth, read Bible a little bit more, and then listen and have a moment with the big G, the big, big G O D. God is really like your best friend. Especially in winter, if falls come, you feel like you're alone. Talk to God. I know I be needing somebody to talk to, but sometimes you have the person right in front of you, even if it's not even your mom. You can say talk to your mom your close friend to keep praying about what i need in advance and wait on god i can't be impatient think that he's going to be real quick with me i have to be patient patience is key to dealing with being closer to jesus and god himself and also another thing was to make sure that my phone your thoughts look bad ready and what am i getting picked up by? oh one thing i want to know is for myself you have to understand core values like look up core values understand it some but i listed like a whole bunch of stuff and i'm gonna go ahead and read it to y'all what i feel like i need help with said respect connection and not being controlled telling me what to do in a way or looking at me in a way that i would not appreciate as like a friendship or relationship like somebody that's literally close to me telling me what cannot do another one is take a deep breath and reconnect myself say if you're in a stressful moment you want to reconnect yourself and just go somewhere else you can go in the bathroom take a little bathroom break breathe i have to take a breath because i am the type of person that will talk faster than ever and i'm really trying to learn that with myself i've been using so many filler words like I just said like like and, and I'm trying to help myself figure that out not having so much of those words come out of my mouth second one was being feminine I've been seeing so many females how to be feminine how to be feminine it's not easy at first it's going to take you a while to understand that you're beautiful you're worthy all things for you to understand that you have to go to god you have to go to god you cannot do things on your own if you're not with god if you try to focus on every little thing that you need and you're not going to god himself then you're not not going to have the right opportunity and the right help because god will lead you to the right pathways help you understand who you are dig deep into that more but this is just going to be like on the surface right now people always say little things matter yesterday i went to where did i go goodwill they had this little canvas and it was like i forgot like what it exactly said but it said little things matter even for when i when i'm working their their core five core four has little things matter so that's a sign anybody if you're singing that over and over again then you have to pay attention to that build up the little things and then get to that 
big thing just keep that in mind having structure being able to understand how you feel being able to give your emotions out and share them with other people not so many people but the right kind of people that you feel like you need to talk to sometimes the emotions go to fulfill it's no reason or doubt for you to feel like you can't express yourself in a way like you feel that people are going to talk about you or it's a lot shyness shyness is a big thing for me i've been just shy my whole life i literally don't like talking to people and i'm very observed so i'll sit back and watch every single every single little body i won't come up to somebody but somebody will come up to me and talk to me to be honest i will be the most nicest person that you can ever meet i really like how this little background is cold the moment we took off our sheets to clean next is when a person is truly about themselves that means that they're selfish they they're not worried about you. They're for themselves. And sometimes it's that type of person you don't need in life. You can be going through a lot and you feel like you can't talk to them in a way. And that's toxic. That's a toxic connection. And the right kind. I have friends, but I need to get out of my shell and be able to talk to many people. Not like many, many people, but like people in general. I be feeling like alone in this house. I need friends to be out and doing so many things that people don't understand. I'm a very, I'm not the type that will sustain the house all day because I'll literally go do something with my little sister or something like that. You have to have the right kind of friends. Some friends can talk behind your back, not like you. It's weird things going on in this world. And some people, you can find the right people if you attract the people that you, who you are. The person that you are, peace and calmness. Peace and calmness dealt with a lot of being by yourself and having that time i had that time to myself like a whole lot and i think I, I needed a little more i need a little more push myself to the way that i can have peace and calmness having that type of connection with yourself is going to help you accountable for you're not accountable for like having that type of friendship and not having the friendship you have to choose the right people the right people will come and the next will leave it's it's okay new people are fine too you can meet new people it's it's okay to be afraid and be nervous to meet new people because that's how i feel that's how i feel in a daily basis i feel like like i'm scared to go up to that person what do they mean or i don't just say it to myself like if somebody talks to me i'll talk to you back but that doesn't mean that we're friends <laughs> it's okay to be feeling nervous and not having everything together identify why did I put identify? Mindfulness. Be mindful of all little aspects in your life. The little aspects is going to be something big. That connects with little things matter. Little things matter to the point where you, what happened about these little things and you got something big now. But still, for that big thing, you have to still think of the mindset that little things matter. I looked up so many core values that I want to understand them for myself and probably for other people too, but some people need it too. I wrote a couple of them down, like describe me in a way. I just need to see how each and every one consists of myself. And if none of these, if some of these do match me and some uh, the others don't, I really have to get dig deeper into myself and stop being so afraid to begin. Like just dig in, stop being on the surface, dig deeper, push yourself to the limits and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and read all these core values and i put know who you are you have to know who you are in order to know who other people are you attract people but you don't know their intentions of you so you're going to have to go ahead and know yourself before you know anybody else so let me go ahead and read these to y'all so the first one was accountability Beauty, calmness, cleanliness, confidence, worthiness, trust, respect, organization, learning, health, contentment, corporation, courage, creativity, wealth, success, peacefulness, motivation, humor, growth, encouragement, experience, faith, focus, vision, uniqueness, spirituality, passion, love, honesty, and fun. Those all connect to me in so many different ways that I have them all over. I'm not even going, I just don't know. I have them all over inside of my head, inside of my brain. I got all of these.
more values. I just need all needs to be put together. I have this, that, 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 it needs to come together. Structure, structure, the big one. Like doing this type of stuff. Just to get my thoughts out. Like journal. to start doing this for y'all because I really need to talking to my camera now because I used to be so shy talking to my camera and I'd be like, oh my God, what am, how am I gonna do this? What am I gonna, when am I gonna do it? And there's so many effects and so many values that I know I can be able to do. Content, YouTube, my life, and it adds up, it builds up into something new. This whole entire time I could have been doing this, but I just, I wasn't ready. I, w I was ready, I know how to do it, stop it because I feel not capable of doing it and it's just discouragement or you feeling like you're not worth worthy. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, come subscribe, hit that bell notification and I really appreciate y'all sitting down and coming to listen to me and if you're watching this, go ahead and subscribe and I will see y'all and I will do more and more of these. I don't have work Monday, my mom even gave me a whole entire schedule. I can editing on Sundays and posting Mondays or edit Thursdays to Wednesday and then post Sundays so my my days for posting may be Sunday and I want that to be a fact this was not even supposed to be like a whole whole long video of me just sitting down talking to y'all this will be also a video coming up on Sunday and I'm going to do another video me getting myself together really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and I will see y'all next time one last thing God's been really talking to me. I just want to read y'all. It says, My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of day and years of life and peace they will add to you. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the table of your heart so you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. That was Proverbs 3, 1 to 6. I just need to that there. See you next time.